Hey everybody, this is Ty Terrell with IFAST University. Excited about this month's content. We're going to talk about uh, training golfers because we had a suggestion on the Facebook page from you, Dave Rasco. So this is all for you. My whole month of May was dedicated towards giving you this content. So you're welcome ahead of time. But I do want to say, like, we're not a golf coach. I mean, I'm not a golf swing coach. So in no mean, by no means am I trying to be one uh, with this presentation. But we are movement coaches and, and we are qualified to break down and train movement. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to look at a couple things. We're going to look at uh, the qualities a golfer needs for an effective swing. We're going to look at the positions of the body in the, in the backswing and the follow through. Uh, and, and, and we're going to lay out some exercises on how you can attain and train uh, those positions right there. So with that said, let's get into the needs. All right, now it's time to introduce some dynamic uh, work into your, the, the training program for golfers because you know, the, the swing is dynamic itself. So Brandon's going to, uh, he's going to actually face me and he's going to get into that right lunge position. And med ball scoops allow us to kind of finish over that hip or load that hip. So as Brandon does scoops to the wall, he's going to find his right arch, keep his right knee out, consistent with all our other exercises prior to this. So he should have a little bit of a right butt and he's going to scoop underhanded to the wall and he's going to, that's going to kind of get him into his, teach him how to get into his right hip, get into his right hip, get into his right hip. He's also dynamically right trunk rotating here. Good. Then he's going to flip around to the other side. Now he's going to go left foot forward. Now we're teaching the finish in the golf swing. So he's finishing through that left hip. Good. Nice job. So you should see kind of a controlled foot up front. You don't want the knee moving around a lot. Uh, you may see the left foot try to supinate and the knee kind of go out, you know, a little bit of varus right there. Um, so we want to keep those as controlled as possible uh, and, and limit the amount of movement there. So we're going to transition from there to bring everything we've done together to a side med ball throw. Wrapping up, I want to add a couple things here. So you've seen us go through uh, the progression of, of, of essentially it's core work, but core work from on the ground to just isolated core work to integrating all the moving pieces that are involved in a golf swing. And it's, it's really important to get specific so we can train the coordination of the patterns to get better transfer. Now, uh, I also want to you know, note that using lunge patterns or step up variations uh, are terrific for training uh, golfers, teaching them how to load and unload a, a single hip because that's essentially what the swing is. You know, you, you load your right hip, you unload it, and you get into your left hip as you finish. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys that Lance Goyke has some terrific content this month uh, with rowing variations that complement what we're talking about today uh, with the golfer, but also should probably be a part of, not probably, they absolutely should be a part of every uh, golfer's program. And so he breaks down these row variations and some fine details, terrific stuff. So check that out. I appreciate you guys taking a look. I hope this you know, was, was helpful to you guys today and enjoy. If you guys have any questions, comments, please head over to the iFastU uh, Facebook page, throw them up there. I think conversation is probably the best part about this. I know I look forward to it every month. Uh, it gives us a chance to kind of grow with each other uh, with the information that's being put out. If you guys like this and find it helpful, please feel free to spread the word. We're trying to grow this. We look forward to the growth. We're excited about the growth that's occurring with iFastU. So please feel free to spread the word about it if you guys find this helpful.